So this is it. This is how we're going to end, end things. Things ended between us long before this. I know I've made some terrible mistakes. Um, yeah. <laughs> you tried to to bet my grandson. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think that any woman could really call that just an error in judgment. No, it's just that um, I was floundering for so long. I, uh, when we found each other, you grounded me in the center. You, were the, you became the one thing in my life that made any sense. You just wanted someone to hide behind. No! Now, why are you so determined to act as if nothing we had was real? Because it wasn't real. I deserve better. Yes. Yes, you do. And I wish I could have given that to you. You don't know how much I wish I could have given that to you. Well, there's no point in talking about this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it anymore. You want to beg? Is that it? Will, will that make you feel better? This isn't about making me feel any better. I'm not asking you to forgive me. No, this is about me helping you to find some closure. Yeah, I really thought that because I cared about you so much, I could make this work. And I'm just, I'm just asking you to give me the benefit of the doubt. No, I can't give you anything. I mean, I can't give you anything. Look, you want this? Okay, let me give this to you. Here it is. That's it. Take it and go. And go now, please, quickly. Have you talked to Derek? No, and I don't plan on that. Aren't you a little bit curious? Why? Because he knew my mother 20 years ago? Sorry, I'm going to need a little more than that. All right, so I guess this is your way of saying that this conversation is kaput. No, we can talk about whatever you want, but I'm out of coffee. All right, okay, so... Hello? Hey, Peaches. Who is this? You know who it is. Why are you calling me? I didn't think they gave you phone privileges. I can get anything I want on the outside. You're out? That's right. And I want to see you. I don't think that's going to happen. What? You don't want to say goodbye to your bodyguard? You leave her alone. Jake, stay away! Shut up! Was that Derek? What did you do to him? Where are you? Someplace called Metro. You know where it is? Yeah. Come alone. Where are you going? Hey, you almost ran me over. I have to go to Metro. It's the middle of the day. It's not even open. Where'd Jade go? I don't know. She just pulled him. Was it something you said? No, I think it was your coffee. <laughs> oh. Hi, Grandma. Hi, dear. I just wanted to give you the heads up. Oh, uh, what? Brian was here at the office. Are you all right? Brian was there. Yes, of course I'm all right. I, I just, I'm just calling you because I, I didn't want you to be caught off guard. Oh, okay. I don't trust him. I, I don't know why he's resurfaced now. You didn't say why he was there? Now, darling, who cares? Anyway, the point is, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you because I just wanted you to know. And you and Noah are together, for God's sake. Just be together. Be together and have a lovely day, that's all. Can you do that for me? Of course. Easily. Good. Thank you, darling. That's the reason I was calling. Brian's back. How's Lucinda doing? She says she's fine. But you don't believe her. How could she be? She was so in love with him. You saw how devastated she was when everything fell apart. And for him to show up out of the blue, that must have been really hard. Maybe she should go talk to her. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? You said yourself it was going to take some work to get things right between you guys. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're going to have to start sometime. Look, all I'm saying is if neither one of you makes a move, it's never going to get better between you two. I mean, think about where we would be right now if we hadn't talked things out. Yeah, you're right. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> Thank you. 
you don't have to think. Oh, well, trust me. I will later. Good. I'm glad you're both here. Um, something has happened. What? I got a call from Florida a while ago. Robbie Sanchez has escaped. How is that possible? Uh, the details are a little iffy. And, and they don't know where he is? No, there's more to that. You think he's heading here, don't you? I, I can't say for sure, mm. but and I don't want to alarm you, but he was spotted in a bus station in Chicago. Marco, the last time Robbie was in town, he was trying to kill Jade. I know, I know. That's why I'm here. Do you have any idea where Jade is? And, no, she went out and I don't know where she is. Do you think it's possible that she's heard from Robbie? No, no, she would have told me if she had. Yeah, well, you know, just to be on the safe side, why don't you call Jade and tell her to come home and we'll put her in police protection. Absolutely, I'll call her right now. Oh my God, Derek, are you okay? I'm fine too, thanks for asking. I told you not to come here. Maybe she's got the hearts for you, Bobby. Enjoy it. I know I sure did. Do you know how messed up you are? What about you? How messed up are you? Thinking you could jam me up? You're not going to get away with it. You know that. No, you know what? They were trying to nail me for helping you. If I didn't tell the truth, I was going to jail. You caved. And now you're going to find out what happens to people who double-cross me. No, Robbie, please calm down, okay? I'll do whatever Jade. you want. Just... What the hell? I told you to come alone. I, I did. I didn't know he followed me. Who else knows you're here? No one. I swear. You're a liar. Liars die first. I have nothing to say to you. Just hear me out, Noah. I need your help. With what? With Luke. Hi. Hi, darling. What are you doing here? I was worried about you. Why? Ryan came by. It must have been hard. What do you want? Well, we both know it wasn't me. <laughs> Sorry. It was a joke. I guess I just don't really find any of this funny. No, I'm fine, hon. I'm really fine. He's out of my life, and I'm just going to forget that he ever was there. Are you sure you can do that? No, I'm going to give it... Well, I'm going to give it a real hell of a drive. Well, I'd like to help you. <laughs> oh, my darling... Everybody's giving me advice. Help me in how to how to cope with this. Well, I've got a little bit too. Uh, the first thing is, you shouldn't cut me out. You're overreacting. No, yeah. you always do this. Uh, you act like like everything's fine when it's not. <laughs> but I can't keep pretending that nothing happened. Look, I've said this over and over, but maybe you'll finally believe it. I am so sorry. I should have told you what happened with Brian immediately. It's just you were dealing with cancer and surgery, and it seemed like Brian was some sort of secret weapon in the battle of your life. So how could I take that away from you? If it had only happened just once, <laughs> but it kept on. The second time, the second time Brian hit on me, he was, he was drunk. He told me it would never happen again. And then when I kissed him, uh, he told you that whole story about the mugger. Yeah. I just didn't want to lose you. Oh, so you chose silence. Yeah, I did. Look where it got us. Look, man, I, I don't know what's going on and here. Stay out of yeah, it. But I know you don't want to do What this. do you know about anything, man? I've been there. I've been locked up. Like I care. Yeah, and you don't want to go back there. I could be going out of the way, so why not make it worth it? Robbie, think. If you kill us, there really won't be any going back. There'll be no way out for you. I know people. I got connections, and they'll protect me. Not from a triple murder app, they won't. I'll take my chances. Come on. Hey. Hey.